Hello, I have finished my next book. Yeah, I know, I wasn't, I just started reading it like three days ago, but it's only 121 pages. Um, but it was really good. So I'm just going to read the back of this book too. The Emerald Tablet of Hermes first appeared in the alchemical libraries of Europe during the 12th century, traveling home with the Crusaders, Freemasons. This seminal work is alleged to be written by Hermes Trismus, Gestus Thoth, the work deeply influenced Western magic, and the tenets presented influence modern magic to this day. That includes tarot cards, astrology, uh, a lot of YouTubers who want to, won't mention any names, but you know, want to say, oh, the Freemasons are evil. No, you don't know what you're talking about. They have been... Uh, infiltrated and a lot of Illuminati evil people have been uh, able to get to the tops of the Freemasons and, con and control certain uh, factions and stuff but anyways moving on the Kybalia Kybalion Kybalion I can't say the Kybalion was first published by the Yogi Publication Society of the Masonic Temple in Chicago in 1912, which is also when the Federal Reserve was established. The authors of the Kabbalion chose to remain anonymous because the principles in philosophy are a, a summation of the timeless wisdom and truth of the Hermetic philosophy. Okay, so what? Evil likes to do is overlay, overlap, uh, great wisdom, great truths, and claim it for their own, for their own manipulation and enslavement purposes. Um, which I'll get into in a sec. Let me just finish reading this. Dr. Jane Mayati Smith studied for her Bachelor of Arts degree at Arizona State University and went on to receive a doctorate in metaphysics and spiritual counseling. She studied hypnosis with Dr. John Kappas and is a graduate of the Hypnosis Motivation Institute. She is also a sound energy practitioner and a vibrational Reiki master. She is also a qualified mental health professional actively working in the state of California. Um, don't check this. Well, I'm going to read my review here. I put 5 out of 5 stars just because it is a good book to have. But you need someone um, that is not part of the agenda of manipulation, hopefully. Um, I'll get into that to help you with the understanding of it needs to be read many times. The knowledge of in this book can be used for good or evil. Be careful of who shows or teaches you of this book. I am aware of the history of this knowledge and how it has been used to manipulate mankind into, enslave, into enslavement. This knowledge is supposed to be used for humanity to awaken ourselves to the responsibility of mastering the universe. Some of the teachings in this book show the misunderstanding from the age of Pisces, illusion, in the perception of allowing a hierarchy system instead of incorporating these teachings into the education system allowing mankind to be the masters of the universe. There are some corrections needed in the knowledge and a lot more information not in teaching in the teachings. Um, so, uh, let's, let me read this out of the book here real quick. The majority of people are carried along like the falling stone obedient to environment, outside influences and internal mood, desires, etc. Not to speak of the desires and wills of others stronger than themselves. Heredity, environment, and suggestion. Carrying them along without resistance on their part or the exercise of will. Moved like pawns on the checkerboard of life. They play their parts and are laid aside after the game is over. But the masters, knowing the rules of the game, rise above the plane of material life, and placing themselves in touch with the higher powers of their nature, dominate their own moods, characters, qualities, and polarity, as well as the environment surrounding them, and thus become 
movers in the game instead of pawns, causes instead of effects. The masters do not escape the causation of the higher planes, but fall in with the higher laws, and thus master circumstances on the lower plane. They thus form a conscious part of the law instead of being mere blind instruments. While they serve on the higher planes, they rule on the material plane. But on higher and on lower, the law is always in operation. There is no such thing as chance. The blind goddess has made abolished by reason. Has been abolished by reason. Not made. Has been abolished by reason. We are able to see now with eyes made clear by knowledge that everything is governed by universal law, that the infinite number of laws are but manifestations of the one great law, the law which is the all. It is true indeed that not a sparrow drops unnoticed by the mind of the all, which is creator God, whatever you call it, that even the, air, the hairs on our head are numbered, as the scriptures have said. There is nothing outside of law, nothing that happens contrary to it. And yet, do not make the mistake of supposing that man is but a blind automaton far from that. The hermetic teachings are that man may use law to overcome law, and that the higher will always prevail against the lower, until at last he has reached the stage in which he seeks refuge in the law itself, and laughs the phenomenal laws to scorn. Are you able to grasp the inner meaning of this? So, just from that, if you grasp the meaning of this, you can see how this could be used for evil. Okay? But the intent was for mankind to, like, this should be taught in school. Everybody should know this stuff. This should, shouldn't be kept secret and hidden and only the secret societies to use it to manipulate everyone into a hierarchy enslavement system. It's ridiculous. Okay, this is supposed to help mankind manage the lower di uh, dimensions, realms, frequencies, whatever, and help the, uh, the frequencies above us in the divine right of, you know, we're per pretty much managing everything, but we're not. We're all corrupted data from the freaking lower densities figuring this out and manipulating us into being like, oh yeah, it's okay, we'll fall for this BS. So, there you go. But, at least it's public. So there's a start. <laughs> Grab it. There's the ladder out of the hole, people. Um, it's not something to be like, oh, all, it's all the answers that I ever needed. No, there's a lot of work So from this. This is just like picking up what they knew and how they're using it against us. And like I said, they overlay good positive things and then add little things here and there like 5, maybe 10% into the book or into the teachings to get those who are like, oh yeah, look at what you're doing, this is most, this is just how the things work, this is just how the universe is, no, oh my god, we have, okay, we have a lot to do, but I'm going to help people if they want me to understand what I'm talking about, okay, it'll, it'll, it'll be cheap, it'll be easy, I'll be able to help you, okay, that'll be, I'm working, okay? I've got things, putting things together for us, okay? So, um, there you go. It's a great book. talks about a lot of different things. Uh, the Seven Principles. Um, I've never seen anyone do the Seven Principles quite like this. It's pretty good. But like I said, there's still, there's some corrections that need to be made on it because they're just doing what they were taught and then from the age of Pisces and illusions, religion and they don't realize it. They're thinking, Oh yeah, this is this is this is it, this is it, this is what's going on, this is how we work it. No. it even shows the contradiction in it. It's it's almost like how the Bible has so many contradictions. It has a few contradictions in the book. And that's what I'm going to help with. Is 
fix those contradictions um, that's to come so if you like what I'm talking about please subscribe and watch all of my video and hit that notification bell thumbs up people please thank you love you see you on the next one